I was always looking for love and to fill a hole that I I felt I wasn't good enough. I wasn't worthy enough. I just some something was wrong with me. And I know many, many human beings share that feeling. And so my little self was always strategizing just find the perfect person to love. I will be filling that hole. Because at the time, I couldn't really fully trust the divine. I couldn't touch him. I couldn't, you know, feel it that, that strongly. But a human being I could embrace, I could interact with, touch and see and talk to. And so it, that whole desire for that person, well, it got fulfilled seemingly. Mm -hmm. And so I found Mr. Wright in 2000. And it was like I was elated, you know, a dream come true. But nine years later, he had to be with someone else. And it was a young woman, a friend of ours, who had uh, cancer at the time. And he dedicated his whole life to helping her with that journey. And so I was left in a lurch. And I, I had projected all my goodness onto, onto him. And so when he walked away, it was proof that I was not worth anything. Mm. You know, I was just left with the other side with how I really deep down underneath felt about myself, which was like the worst, the worst thing. And so I, I didn't realize I argued with life. I did. I thought life made a mistake. This couldn't be, we were teaching together. We were, we had a retreat center together. I mean, it was like the ideal life and I just couldn't, my mind just couldn't handle it. So I went through a few years of feeling very broken and very upset. But I, I do now know in retrospect, I was taken care of throughout the whole time. God brought me whatever was needed to help me get through that time. And it's, it is, you know, a full wholehearted yes now in my life to show up for whatever God brings me. It brought me to that deeper place where I realized the medicine is in the poison of that pain and the diamond is hidden and concealed in any of the pain we might experience. But of course, diamonds also are found in joy and every moment of our lives, if we can see them if we can open our eyes to see them and our hearts to receive them it's everywhere all the time. But I didn't know that at the time. So it took uh, a lot. And I now see the wisdom I gained from that is I had to be set free. So this we're now best friends in God. and we live right next to each other and we we have each other's back. We have a beautiful life that relationship turned into a holy relationship rather than a special relationship where you feel that sense of ownership. You know, we went totally into freedom in God, respecting each other's freedom. And it's incredible to experience that. But I, I know now I had to be set free. I had to be broken of my attachment to this person as my source of worth and my source of love because what played into it were deep unconscious patterns of unworthiness and ancestral patterns and imprints that you know of that theme and of loss and grief and not 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 good enough that played a big role in how i experienced this life change you know not with confidence not with trust but you know, what I now know that one of the reasons I came here to Earth was to transmute those very programs. And with the infinite grace of love from God, you know, I now can. And I realized that this beautiful friend did me the biggest service. But did I see that at the time? No, I didn't see it for many years. So this was probably one of the biggest hidden unexpected diamonds in my life that turned into, you know, after polishing it from all the, the dirt and the debris, it turned out to be the most incredibly powerful jewel uh, that is keeps growing. It keeps growing in my life as I keep releasing 
all the strategies that my little sen sense of self thinks I the strategies I used to, you know, used to use to make me happy. So releasing all of that, because I now know the divine is the only thing that is fulfilling me, that is making me happy, that is bringing all that is needed. And I have not found any other way than going right through the middle of the seeming losses and their seeming losses. But it feels like a stripping away. And I want to quote this. I've uh, shared this with you before by Jeannie Sandy. She says, we are asked over and over to offer our empty hands to let the things we are gripping that does not exist in this vibrating moment hand over all that has happened, all that might happen, every sweet dream we cling to. This life, this is life's loving strip search. Give it all over. Something else wants to live you. So, you know, maybe we all need to learn to let go of our biggest attachments as I needed to let go of the love of my life in order to receive love itself. I received love itself. And by the way, you know, as I said, we are the best friends now. So the gift is, it just keeps giving. So if we had perfect trust that all is for our highest good and it's not a punishment, what can we say yes to, even right now, perhaps to a difficult situation in our lives, something troubling, and release ourselves into the process of life. So when, when we finally lose the fear of what life might take away from us next, and we lose the fear of the intensity of our emotions, things begin to change in our inner experience. And we start welcoming all experiences. And for me, that is freedom. That is much more valuable than not having painful experiences. So true freedom is to say yes. And, you know, we see that in spite of our stumbling and struggling, there is an infinite intelligence guiding our process, which despite seeming detours, gives us one true and sure direction toward greater wholeness and integration. And so I have a question to all the participants to contemplate for a moment. You know, what is the wisdom gained through your experience of perhaps a loss or a hidden unexpected diamond? For me, as I said, it was trusting the process that outer support structure cannot be a substitute for my own internal healing system and learning to trust that essential nature, my true self, which we have been disconnected from trusting Divine Father, Mother, Source. So it's like trust is our spiritual immune system. So contemplate for a moment on the wisdom you have gained from the unexpected diamonds in your life.